Hello. <coughs> sorry, my asthma is really bad at the moment. I've got really bad cough. So I am sorry about that. Hiya. I forgot to mention in my last video. Um, as you can tell, I have um, glasses now. They are prescription glasses. Um, I'm short-sighted. Um, and I don't know if anybody else who wears glasses realises this, yeah? But... It's going to sound strange, but you don't really understand how much the glasses improve your eyesight until you wear them for the first time and then take them off again. I know it sounds silly and like most people are like, well, yeah, that's what glasses are for. But, you know, I just thought it was amazing. Like the first time I put them on, uh, you know, I didn't, I could see things clearer than I normally do, but I wouldn't have realised that I needed them unless I'd had that optician's appointment and, you know, they diagnosed short sights. So, yeah. So, I I now wear glasses. Um, I don't know. I think they suit me. I'm not sure. I mean, I've had a haircut, so I think they suit me more now. Um, yeah, but I like them. So, that's the first thing. You probably noticed if you watched my collective-ish book haul yesterday. Was it yesterday? Yeah, it was Saturday, yeah. Um, but anyway, let's not talk about my glasses. You want to see a video about books, so that's what I'm here to give you. Um, today I have another original tag. This is the surname book tag, as in like the last name book tag. And it obviously it's called that because it involves surnames, author surnames. Coffee, sorry about this. So, let me just put my coffee down, and I'll start. So, there's only five questions. Uh, I think it's pretty easy. It's a bit of fun. Um, yeah. So, number one is pick a random book from your shelf. And actually, this time, I have examples to show you. In my other videos, I never have examples to show you for tags, which is weird. But I actually have examples now, so I can show you. Um, because I need to explain some of these things. So, you pick a random book from your shelf, and... I've gone with While the Others Sleep by Tom Becker. Uh, number two is What is the author's surname? So obviously this author's surname is Becker. Uh, number three, find books whose titles match the first three letters of the surname. So what I mean by that is the first three letters of Becker are B, E and C. So um, as part of this task... If the title of the book begins with the word the, you can use the start of the next word. So I need to find where, uh, books whose titles begin with B-E-C. So I've gone with The Black Country by Alex Grecian because there's a B. It starts with a B if I take out the. And this is part of the... Uh, I don't know what this series is called, but this, oh, it's the Black Country series, uh, Black Country trilogy, but yeah, the first one is The Yard, this one is The Black Country, and the third one is The Devil's Workshop or The Devil's Playground, which I really want to get, but I found the, 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 this one, and its sequel, if you could see that, you will have seen these in book hauls if you've watched my videos enough. Um, but yeah, I bought these in Asda for £3.50 each when they came out. Um, but they, I haven't seen the third one in there. Uh, next letter was E, so I went with an obvious choice, Ender's Game by Orson Scott Card. And I really like this cover, and I've, I've never seen this cover anywhere. But I really like it, it's really striking. It's not like the horrible movie cover, so that's good. <clears throat> and then the third letter was C, so I went with another one, another obvious one, Catching Fire by Suzanne Collins. I love the birds on these UK black covers, I think they're amazing. You can see my copy is very beaten up, uh, but that's because I read it and loved it. In fact, I read the whole trilogy and loved it, as most of us probably did. So yes, those are those. Uh... 
Number four, take out any vowels in the whole of the author's full name and try and pronounce it. So, as you can tell, I'll talk about the first book that you picked. So, Tom Becker, I need to take out the O from Tom and the two E's from Becker and try and pronounce it. Because, obviously, the vowels are A, E, I, O, U. Yeah. Uh, you probably knew that anyway, so I don't know why I told you, but I thought I would because I'm fueled by coffee right now. So, if I take out the O from Tom, I'm left with Tum. If I take out the two E's from Becca, I'm left with Bukra. So it's Tum Bukra. Tum Bukra. Which sounds nothing like Tom Becker, and I'm sorry I keep repeating it. Tum Bukra. Yes. Um, and then, number five is describe what each book is about, if you know what it's about. So, um, this one is... About, I haven't read this, but it's about a boy who's sent to an asylum to get better because um, he's found um, setting fire to his parents' home and it kills his parents. Um, but he discovers, and he can't sleep as well, um, but he discovers that being asleep isn't the scariest thing. It's being awake in this asylum is scarier. Mm-hmm. I haven't read it yet. But I got this far in. It's uh, chapter two. But I found the writing style a little um, difficult to get into. But I'm sure I'll pick it up again because I love stories like this. Um, as I explained about this one, um, this trilogy is about these things happen, uh, crimes start happening after Jack the Ripper's uh, presumed dead. After the Jack the Ripper murders stop. Um, but people start questioning whether they really have stopped. Because the killer is employing tactics and killing people in the same sort of fashion that Jack the Ripper did. I haven't read this one or the first of this, The Yard, either. And then, I'm sure we all know what Ender's Game is about. It's about a boy called Ender Wiggin. And he's in this battle school. Um... And it says, a vast alien force is headed for Earth. Its mission, the annihilation of all human life. Ender could be our only hope. But first, he must survive the most brutal military training program in the galaxy. Um, I've seen the film. It was okay. Not the best. I didn't really enjoy it that much. But uh, I haven't read the book. But I'm excited to read it. And then, I'm sure I don't need to explain this one either. But I will. For purposes of the tag. Uh, yeah, Catching Fire, Suzanne Hol Collins. Second book in the Hunger Games trilogy, one of the best trilogies ever written. Um, it's about a girl called Katniss Everdeen um, and this game called The Hunger Games where children are pitted against each other and have to fight to the death. Um, yeah, and along the way throughout the trilogy, part of me, you know, she falls in love and all that good stuff. And it's just a really good trilogy. I mean, if you... I don't know why I'm saying this, but if you haven't read it, because I presume a lot of you have, if you haven't read it, you need to, please. Because Suzanne Collins deserves all the all the credit. Uh, yeah, so that is the tag. Um, it's open to everyone, um, but I'm tagging some people in particular. So I'm going to tell you quickly, because this video is about to cut out, because my battery is running low. So I am tagging Leah Holsclaw, Britney's Book Find, No Regrets for Life, Wrath's Queen, and Celtic Bibliophile. But I will let you all know 